Um, my name is Brandy Aragon. I've been here in Las Vegas, New Mexico for 20 years. Um, as far as I know, Andre is managing the whole vocal performance program, but you meet with all the teachers because you still have to learn piano, you still have to learn theory, and you still have to learn history. So I see like all of the teachers here pretty regularly. Originally, I wanted to do theater. And when I actually went to major in theater at UNM, I didn't like it. I wasn't happy there. So I decided, oh, I'm going to become a teacher. I can teach young children, but I don't like children. So eventually I came to the music building because I learned that there's vocal performance. And vocal performance is really close to theater in my head. So I was like, oh, I'm going to major in vocal performance. And I got here and I fell in love with music. Um, I have been a part of theater since I was 11 years old. I was kind of a shy kid. I didn't have that many friends, but when I was 11, the middle school I went to had a drama club. So I became a part of it. I loved acting and I had so much fun. And so I decided to continue it. We, I even started my own um, theater group when in high school, like a bunch of us got together and it's still active today. I'm not a part of it anymore, but um, it's called Clearly Confused Productions and it still runs shows today, I think. And so I've written two, almost three plays so far and I've put on um, two productions. I have the same production twice, but um, actually three productions because one was a completely different show and I did two productions of the same show. Um, when I produced um, the play The Invisible Woman here, I got access to Solid in Madrid, I had access to the choir room, and that was more access than I had ever had to any rehearsal space. It was, it was nice to be able to rehearse, especially in the place that the play was going to be performed. And it was, we had a week to rehearse there, and it was great that everyone got comfortable with the space, and it ended up being a really, really nice show. Um, being here also, I had a lot of people audition that might not have auditioned originally, just because it was also a school production. And performing here and holding performances here has been, it's been a really good time because you, when you're performing for the community, you're lucky if community members show up. But usually people will see that a performance is coming up here at Highlands and they'll go to it. So you get to experience what it's like to actually perform for people who want to be there and heard about it that, and shows that got like really good exposure. I would never have been able to do that at a bigger university. Just because the university is so small here, when I pitched the idea for a show, it was listened to because I was probably the only one who has pitched the idea this year. I don't know if there are other people pitching theater ideas, but I know that the only people that I know of that are involved in theater are usually also involved with the music building in some capacity. So right now we have, we don't really have like a theater program. I know we have a theater associates degree, but the, if you're involved with theater, you're also in some capacity involved with the music department. Um, right now, well, this semester I was involved with Madrigal Choir and I was involved in HU Singers, which is doing a production of Into the Woods. I don't know, coming here to Highlands is probably the best decision I've made. Because I've gone to UNM, I've gone to Luna, because I went very different paths regarding my education. But here's the first place that I've ever felt that I've learned something, and learned something meaningful. Learned something that I'm probably going to take with me, regardless of whether or not I continue my career as a musician. I'm going to take what I learn here, and I'm going to go wherever I go with it. And I'm probably not going to forget most of it. And I feel like that is the true learning experience.